You know, we always think of the AIA gold medalist as a model for the rest of the discipline. I think of him more as a prototype. Had a reputation of being a bad boy or an enfant terrible. And I think it's because he was unwilling to compromise that he set this very high standard and that he was committed to doing only what he truly believed in. I've called Tom a 220 volt personality in a 110 volt world. To design every detail in the same energy that designed the, the conception, the first sketches, no? It's never something that had been seen before. It was clear even early in his career that he was driven, that he was the most serious person in the room. You can say adventuresome, but you know, that doesn't, doesn't begin to cover it. He kicks ass. There is rationale, order, logic behind what he does, but there is also a passion that these buildings are like, they're like living things. What I observed was a swirling vortex of ideas. And so we have a building that's contemporary, but I would argue that it has a DNA going back to wonderful public buildings of past centuries and courthouses of past centuries always inventing, always innovating, always advancing the discipline. He had to provide the glue for this university with the building, which was very kind of sprawling, and he created a real urban space uh, in the student union. As he see the fantastic opportunity that life offers in front of you, never looking back. And always, everything must be splendid. Splendid. This is splendid.